Hi guys, in today's video we're going to be looking at Theorem 13, which states that if two triangles ABC and DEF are similar, then their sides are proportional in the order AB over DE is equals to BC over EF is equals to AC over DF. So in this question we're given two similar triangles, okay? So we're given similar triangles ABC and D, E, F. And what I've done is you could, you'll see in some books they'll actually label each of the angles, but I've just marked them in with my green dot as they're the same angles, my blue dot is the same angles, and my red dot is the same angles, um, which is absolutely perfect. That's all you need to do. Um, and what we're trying to prove then, okay, so in this question we are basically trying to prove, as we wrote in our kind of title of this proof, is that um, the sides are in proportion to each other. So we're trying to prove that AB over DE, okay, so matching sides, is equals to BC over EF, which is also in the same proportion as AC over DF, okay, so that's what we're trying to prove in this question. So for our construction then, basically what you're going to do is you're going to try and mark the distance of DE. Okay, so this distance here we want to mark on our line AB. So basically what you would do is you'd like measure, let's say, DE and you'd measure that down here. Okay, so like again, hypothetically, you'd be saying this point here that I'm going to label X represents the distance that A to X would be the same as D to E. And then the same on the right hand side, we're going to label the point there Y, which again would represent the distance from A to Y would be the same as D to F. And you're going to join them together. Okay, so you're going to create that line XY, which basically creates the same triangle DEF within the triangle ABC. So the first thing we're going to do in our proof is we're going to prove that the triangle AXY is congruent to DEF, okay? And the way we can do that is we can look at um, the side, the angle, and the side, okay? So that this is how we're going to prove this. So for the side, we have already said from our construction that we know that the side AX, the distance, is equals to DE. And for the angle, we know from, again, what we were given that we had tri similar triangles. So that means that the angle X, A, Y, so that's your green angle, is equal to the green angle in our other triangle, which was E, D, F. And then our other side is, from our construction, we said that the distance between A and Y was the same distance as between D and F. So therefore, due to side angle side, we know that our triangle AXY is congruent to DEF. Therefore, we can say that the angle AXY, which is the one just up here beside the X, I'll just put a little black dot, that, because they're congruent triangles, must be equals to the angle D, E, F, okay? And therefore, if we know that the angle A, X, Y is equals to D, E, F, remember D, E, F was our blue angle. So that means that if that's equals to that blue angle, that it must also be equals to this one. So we can therefore say that angle A, X, Y must also therefore be equals to the angle A, B, C which also therefore shows that they are corresponding angles. Okay, um, and then that therefore means that the line XY is parallel to BC. Okay, so that's all a lot of important information. We can therefore start comparing the sides of our main triangle. So we can therefore say that AX over XB is equals to AY over YC. And we can therefore also say that AB over AX 
is equals to AC over AY, which therefore means that AB over, remember AX is the same as DE, is equals to AC over a or sorry a y that one should be which we've already said is d f and similarly i can also show using the bottom part of my triangle then that a b over d e is equals to b c over e f so if i compare that to what i was trying to prove at the start i can see that i've shown that a over a b over d e is equals to BC over EF, which is equals to AC over DF. And that is our final proof. And we can write QED at the end and we are finished. Thanks for watching today's video. In our video, we looked at the formal proof for theorem 13.